Hi guys, this is Joe from Techy Lobang. Welcome back to this channel. Today I am going to test out this Xiaomi 11T Pro. And the test that I'm going to conduct is very simple. If you know, Xiaomi 11T Pro has a 120 watt hypercharge feature. So that is 120 watt. And today what I'm going to do is based on the claim, it mentions that it can charge up to 100% within 17 minutes. So I'm going to test it out to see whether you can get 100% of the charge within 17 minutes or not. And I'm going to use this timer to test it out. But before that, let me introduce you to the charger. So inside here, I've taken out the smartphone, the Yaren T Pro over here. You can see over here. Yeah. This is the 120 watt charger. Let me take out this cover. So as you can see, yeah, I don't know whether you can see or not. Yeah. 120 watt as stated over here, 120 watt. It's quite a large brick per se because uh, normally you don't get such a large one but then again this is 120 watt imagine what you can do with 120 watt i think you can power on some um, not some but most of the laptops using 120 watt over here i'm going to use the original cable from xiaomi to charge it and yeah this is the cable so with the original cable 120 watt hyper charge charger i'm going to charge this 11t pro to 100 percent and by the way i have discharged this phone until it's impossible to turn it on it's not possible to turn it on right now because i've discharged it and so when i'm charging it i might have to turn off the um the wireless just to be sure that i'm utilizing the 120 watt properly so let me set up the thing first take out this i'm going to put my timer over here a few moments later so let me plug in this power brick to my socket This is a USB-C port. This is the timer. Let me show you how it works. So once you press start, it will start to count up. Which is usually the test method. I will stop this timer. Okay. So let's do it. Ready? Go. So let me turn on the phone if possible. At this moment, I can't turn on the phone because it's totally out of battery. A few moments later. So with five percent, with five percent of the charging, let me try to turn it on again. Let me turn off the okay. So let me see what is the percentage right now. It's at seven percent. 
currently is at seven percent. So I've written off the wireless. That means it has no SIM card and is uh, the wireless is turned off. So basically, it can do not much things except for Bluetooth, which I have connected to zero device right now. So what you are looking at is just purely a smartphone without SIM SIM card and without wireless. It states that it has 28 minutes to full charge. Currently, it's at 9% charge. So, actually, it's quite fast. Let me wait for a little while. Eighteen percent. Okay, this eleven minutes mark. Let me check the status. It's thirty two percent, thirty three percent charge. So, uh, the previous time is eight. 18% charge now is 33% charge so in another few mi more minutes I should be able to get 50% charge okay it's now 15 minutes let me take a look at the charging condition it is now 52% or 53% charge at 15 minutes so previously at 30% percent is at 11 minutes now it's at 53 percent at 15 minutes so the claim says that 17 minutes you get a full charge but of course you know that it's impossible and let me see so at 8 17 minutes you can get about 55 percent charge if your phone is fully discharged so i i guess yeah Hopefully by maybe 25 minutes, I can get up to 80%. So let, we shall see. And let me check on the battery. It's warm or slightly more than warm in terms of the battery right now. The charger itself is hot, slightly warm, higher than warm, it's slightly hot. But then again, this is acceptable because at, at this charging speed rate, I guess you have to know that the device will get warm. So I'm go not going to disturb anymore. So let's talk about it at the 25 minutes mark. And by the way, while waiting for it to go through all the charging, let me share with you a little bit about this 120 watt hypercharge from Xiaomi. As you can see from this chart, Xiaomi has progressed from 27 watts for the Mi 9 until the 20, 120 watts for the Xiaomi 11T Pro. So that is amazing. Moving on, you can see that it has one of the best combinations in the industry. So when I say when it says one of the best, I guess it means it has 5000 milliampere hour of battery and a 120 watt charging speed that can charge up to 70 minutes to get 100% charge. So how does it work? As you can see, this is the 180 watt charger. So as mentioned, it is a dual charging mechanism whereby you have already two battery in the 11T Pro, each 2500 mAh. Hour. So what it does is when you plug in the 120 watt ch charger, it will distribute the 120 watt across the two charging mechanism and charge up the batteries. So the dual cell batteries will be charged together at the same time. And this is called MTW technology. It's 
multi tap winding. So MTW it improves the current flows into the battery. So this is how it works, but nobody cares because what we need is a full charge phone in the shortest term. So the charging time is as such. For a normal charging time, it may go in this waveform, but for a Xiaomi technology is going rapidly towards a hundred percent. This is the graphene application on the Lipton Ion battery. So this is not something new. A lot of suppliers are using graphene battery uh, technology right now. And cooling technology, you can see that it's using this thing called the liquid cool technology. Safety first. So um, it has this uh, technology it has all the safety features inside this um, charging mechanism whereby the battery, the circuit and the charger are fully protected with safety features. So if you are in a very cold weather like a negative 10 degrees Celsius, you are able to charge also. So at this kind of extreme temperature, it is able to charge at 12 watt. And yeah, that's it on the charging technology. Now it is 76% charge. So previously it's at 52%, now it's at 76% within a few minutes. Oh, that is really good. So at 25 minutes, let's see whether it reaches 80%. Oh, it exited 80%, it's now at 83%, which is amazing. So I shall wait. Okay, two minutes has passed. Let me check on the 91%. So it is really getting much faster right now. One minute to full charge, really. So it's now at 28 and a half minutes. Let's look at the... Okay, now it changed to two minutes to full charge at 93%. 94% right now. Okay, as I mentioned, 95% is something that I always look forward to because when most of the phones, when it reaches 95%, it trotted down on the charging speed because it will have to safely execute the last part of the charging to prevent overheating, to prevent damages. So 95% charge at 30 minutes around plus minus. 99% Ooh. Okay, it reaches 100% at about 36 minutes and 46 seconds. So to recap, right, um, we started with zero or even below zero percent in terms of the battery. So um, what, what I did was I actually drained off the battery for a long, long, long time. It took five minutes to wake up the phone. 32 minutes should reach around 95% or more. And it reaches, uh, it finishes at 100% is around 36 minutes. So overall, I should say that I need to minus away the 5 minutes from the waking out time and basically I think it is able to perform at almost 100% or 99% at around 27 minutes if my calculation is correct. So that is quite amazing for 
a 5000 milliampere battery to be charged up to 100% within 20 over minutes. Although the claim says that it's 70 minutes, I still feel that yeah, this is not a very scientific test, it's just a kind of a test whereby I just put in everything and then hopefully it, it, it can perform magic. But anyway, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you like this kind of um, test that I've conducted. Do subscribe to the Taki Lobang channel if you have not. And I'll see you around. Bye-bye.